Hello everyone! <laughs> we are doing a baby video, baby related video today. And specifically we are, I am going to show you what we have bought for baby. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we have bought baby thus far. There is still a few things that we need to buy, which I'll get into. Probably at the end of this video, are currently, currently, as of filming this video, 34 weeks and three days. Pregnante. I will say, disclaimer, I am a first time mother so my knowledge of baby things is very limited i don't know what my baby will want will like i don't know anything please keep that in mind i've bought this stuff from like um recommendations and stuff off of like youtube my best friends keep that in mind but i thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see i'm not gonna lie i did this video kind of already filmed it already and i just didn't feel it <laughs> i was like halfway through filming and i just sat there like what am I doing? I hate this video. I don't want. I don't want to do it. So I'm changing up slightly. I'm gonna go around the nursery and show you guys things that we've bought. I don't have much to say, so I thought instead of me just holding up stuff, I'd go around the nursery and kind of show you what we got. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is what the nursery looks like. I've not really tidied. I have tidied it. Not great, but I have tidied it a little bit. So this is what it looks like now. It's not fab, obviously. It'll all look cute in that by hopefully by the time baby comes into this room. Please be gracious with us, is what I'm saying. So I guess like a quick overview as to what the nursery looks like so far. It looks like this. Obviously this side is kind of random. We have Winnie's cage in here because we're trying to get her to like sleep and be comfortable by herself. All these are like empty boxes. Here I've started a somewhat hospital bag. You can see I've got like breast pads in here. We've got those big ass maternity pads. This makeup bag that I've got, is, I've just started to put stuff in there that I think I might need. And then we have these like little crate things from Ikea. We just have, I've got some books in there for now because I want to put like a book nook here. I'd love to get like some shelves there and maybe like a chair there. I kind of have like a book nook situation. So, and then I'd say the cutest bit is this, the drawer. It's Ikea. I can't remember which Ikea. We all know what these are though. We've all seen them. And then these are like prints that I got from Decenio, the world. And then like this, they weren't, a, they weren't a set, but they look like a set. They look fab. I was having this conversation with my friend yesterday and it's like, the <laughs> The amount of stuff that we buy for a baby that they do not care about. Like this baby don't care what is on his wall and he doesn't care about what he wears. But for me, I care what he wears and what's on his wall. So it's funny, it's like, this is what I bought for baby, but actually it's what I bought for me. And I've just got some bits and bobs. This is a baby product back here. This is like the Tommy Tippy, it's like a temperature thing in my bob. So like it lights up different colors depending on your temperature of the room. So you kind of know if it's too hot, too cold, if it's just right for the baby. And yeah, we're gonna start going through these drawers, I suppose. These ones here I've put as clothes. These two here are like filled with clothes that we got gifted that are six to nine months and nine to 12 months. And this one is like full of like rando stuff. And this one's just got like bags. Actually, before we get onto the drawers, um, these are again, stuff that was gifted. One of those sleep sacks. Um, and then a couple of blankets. And um, that'll be like, you know, when he's in his pram. Okay, so starting out in the first drawer, I have still got quite a few clothes to buy still. And I tried to organize them in some form of category, but so this is kind of like his baby, baby clothes, like when he's newborn slash zero to three months. Outdoor clothes. So he's got like cute little sets and stuff, little trousers, very cute colors and stuff. Then this second drawer, as you can see a lot more because this will be like more stuff that you'll wear all the time. Bedtime onesies, dingy my bobbies. The typical thing you see babies wearing, just like the onesies and just stuff I think you need more of because of how much they poop and diaper changes and stuff. But I've tried to keep it like color coordinated a little bit. 
at the back we have this is like a cute ass heck like onesie thing and then we have another like sleep sack in the back there next drawer we have again pretty much the same sort of stuff but like less color this is more of like i guess neutrals or like your basic basic stuff like your plain white onesies um yeah just like very basic stuff you know that babies need and they need a lot of because they go through them like no tomorrow so just stuff like that and then the next one is more of his going out stuff but this is more like blues but so we've got pretty like striped one he's got his really pretty cardigan i'll just show you these two bottom ones i won't bother going through them because again they're like older for him and it's quite a lot and this is all gifted. I feel so thankful for this person who has gifted all this stuff to us because there's a lot and yeah, really helpful. But yeah, it's just a bunch of like different types of baby clothes for six to nine months. We've got the 12 to, nine to 12 months right at the bottom there. This is the drawer that I said has like random stuff in it. So baby towel, sponges. We, I've got the breast milk storage bags. We've got this Tommy <laughs> Tippy set. Bath thermometer, regular thermometer. You know, ladies, you know. For post labor, I will just leave it at that. <laughs> and then we have like these little baby books. So if you don't know, I didn't know this before my best friend had a baby, is that babies can't actually see very well. <laughs> So they're black and white books because babies can't actually see color or something like that. This is another thing, uh, tummy time. But again, it's like just a bunch of like big ass shapes and stuff. And the whole reason of this is like you put it on the ground and when your baby does tummy time, it looks at it. I did get these from Ikea. <laughs> Even though it's very premature, the baby will not be using these anytime soon. I just, I wanted to get them before Ikea discontinued them. And then the last big thing is this maxi cozy baby monitor and that is all that is in this drawer and in the bottom as i said it's just kind of like bags like i've got my pregnancy pillow bag play mat so another thing that we got is the baby beer carrier this contraption that kind of looks like a harness for rock climbing i think how do I get this? This is what I mean. I need to play about with this a bit because I can't really remember how it works. <laughs> anyway, it's the baby beer and carrier. I do like the idea of baby wearing. I apologize for my mucky my muckiness, by the way. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the cribs. So this here is what he will be sleeping in for the first six months. It's like the, let me just move this. So this bit here comes off. So these comes off like so. <laughs> The whole idea is that you're able to then sleep co-sleeper. So I'll sleep and then this attaches to the bed. This is his going home outfit. This is actually my auntie knitted, crocheted this for my cousin's wedding because it was like an outside um, venue. So she knitted like billion of these blankets and I was like, I'm getting this color. And then this, guys, this is half of the crib. I was going to um, build it for you guys for this video. And then that's when I realized that this was only box one of two and the other boxes in my boyfriend's car. So you won't be able to see what the crib looks like, um, but well, you will, so insert a photo, but you won't be able to see what it looks like in the space. What I thought was really important was to get a crib that would last years. I like how this converts and it's not just like a one-time use because it's expensive. But yeah, I'm tired. That's pretty much everything that's in here. Oh, actually, I got this basket again ages ago. Let me put this camera down because it's actually quite heavy. So yeah, I bought this wicker basket when I first, 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 first got. Did I even buy it? I might have, you know what? No, I think I bought this prior to getting pregnant. This basket, such a good size because you might notice I have a changing table and I'm not getting one because I don't see the point in changing tables. If you want a changing table for your children, that is completely and utterly up to you in your preferences and whatever. But for me, I like to think most of our day will be spent downstairs in the living room. And why on God's earth would I want to have to travel upstairs to his changing room, changing table like a billion times a day? 
I'd so much rather have a basket filled of his stuff. Like I'll have um, nappies, I'll have wipes, change of clothes, multiple change of clothes and snacks as well. Cause it would be maybe by the bedside as well. And then you can carry this no matter where you're going. And that is everything that I can show you but I'm not finished telling you what I've got. So we do have a pram, obviously, and the car seat. I think we got a Joey car seat and we managed with like a Joey pram bundle car seat thing. We got it because my best friend's husband told us to. <laughs> Because he works for like John Lewis in the ba baby baby in the baby department and he said this is fab. It comes with so much stuff. It comes with the car seat, the car seat base that you're able to twist. This car seat moves, guys. It goes you're able to um have the baby facing you if you're taking it out of the car seat. And then obviously you've got your pram base bit, the car seat comes out onto the pram. You have like your lat, your like newborn baby bassinet carrier part of the pram that comes off and then when he gets older he's got the sit up one. It's just, it's fab. And yes, car seat's already in my car. And we also have a bassinet downstairs. Hopefully a lot of our time will be spent in the living room. So yeah, that is everything that we got. But now as for stuff that I'm still needing to get, very much, it's more like stuff that I'm so unsure about that I've just not wanting to spend my money on stuff that I don't even know if I'm gonna use. It's that type of stuff. Do I get that? Do I not get that? Do I get that one? Do I get that brand? Do I get, and I just have a fear of wasting money. Anyways, so stuff like that is like breast pumps for getting milk to put in the bags. I don't think I'm gonna get an electric one because imagine you spend like hundreds of pounds on an electric pump and then you can't even breastfeed. I'm gonna get like a handheld one. I know the Haka is the name that floats around. Maybe that and then there's like bottles. You buy bottles. If you have bottles, you need like ball sterilizers. So buy that. I'm trying to think what else. So I've started to make a list of like stuff that I need for like hospital bag stuff. So it's like little things now like buy creams, nappy rash cream, bath time stuff. I need to get freaking mattresses. The crib. I need to buy mattress protectors, I need to buy sheets. I need to buy baby bath, more sleeping bags. There's just so much that I feel like I still need to buy. Not a lot of time to do it then, it feels like. Let me know if there's any any like specific things you would recommend. Or if you know if you have like any like tips and tricks, send them down below for my myself or any other like new moms who just um roaming this skinny world and hoping for the best and i think that is it i think that's the video and i feel like it went a lot better than the first time i am hungry i'm gonna go have some food i think but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was somewhat informational even though it's probably not because i don't know anything but actually i forgot one thing that i have or that I've bought for baby and myself. I'll go get it if I can get it off the floor. And it is my luscious, luscious pregnancy pillow. This, guys, this is the baby hug me one. And I seen this first in a Sarah Therese video and I knew from the start. As soon as I seen that video, I was like, when I get pregnant and when that will be, I'll be getting this pillow. And it has been the best thing, especially recently. Um, I've been really struggling to get comfy and um, this bump is getting bumpy and <laughs> it gets a bit sore and a bit uncomfy so this has been utterly perfect. I actually slept really well last night and this was fab. So anyways that is the video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was not too long. I feel like the past few videos have been quite long ones um, but I, yeah anyways I'm making it even longer just by rambling on. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.